menom sa Dalibor, vítam vás pri ďalšom videu. I told you I wanted to get back and look at some of the draft watch sort of uh, stock watches here for some of these young players. I want to go to the Champions League here, and I have really been impressed by the youngster who is really starting to torch some of these men that he's played. It's a boy against men, and the boy is winning out here on this one. Really like to see where he's going. His stock is soaring in my books, and he will be one of the top selections in the NHL draft, in my personal opinion. And I've heard that from a few scouts as well. Now, meantime, back in North America, you look in the junior side. So the Champions League final is in the books and as the dust settles on this one, I do want to make a point on the losing side here. I thought that youngster was brilliant. He had such a good tournament, he played so well and he's got such a bright future. Whichever team winds up taking him in the NHL draft has got a stud on their hands. Uh, I know he's disappointed his team came up short. But I'll tell you what, I love the way he rose to the challenge in these big games and these big moments. Really impressed by that. Uh, also, we're going to head inside the locker room. And I thought, personally speaking, one name that will be likely called near the top, if not the top, of the NHL draft coming up in the summer is from the youngster that we saw in the Champions League. What a performance! What a show he put on. I talked to a few scouts that absolutely raved, and they didn't have him very high at the beginning of the season, but throughout the Champions League, they could not look away. He would not be denied, and there's stock that has absolutely shot up recently. Now, one name that I think is going to be impacted by his...
from what I heard over the weekend at the Combine, the kid had a very lengthy interview with the New York Rangers. And think about what the Rangers have done with the youth movement over the last couple of years. Very intriguing scenario for them with the Rangers suddenly into the mix. And could you imagine him in a blue shirt? Ah, oh, original six team. That's uh, not a bad fit right there, in my opinion. Uh, a couple of other scenarios that are kind of playing out in some of the other... So from what I'm hearing coming out of the Combine this past weekend, the Los Angeles Kings were said to have a very good conversation with the youngster. Now, where does that look like? How does that all evolve in Hollywood and the kid? I mean, is there a fit there? I don't mind it. We'll see how it all plays out because there's a lot of moving parts between now and draft day. But the Kings said to be very high on uh, on the youngster here from what i'm hearing okay still to come here on the show joined by one of the top draft well as we inch closer and closer to the big draft day and i'll tell you what we look at some of the draft rankings and some of the scouts that i've talked to i think we're all kind of on the same page we've got this kid ranked pretty high and he has put himself in a position to be a very high selection in that first round when we get to draft day. Keep an eye on him, mark my words, anybody who passes on him may be regretting this one in a... Continuing our conversation with Ray Ferraro here on the show. And, man, that's got to be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted and hearing his name called. Uh, it's better than that, James. It's the realization, really, of a lifelong dream. I mean, since he's a little kid, he's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL. Now, the understanding that we've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. A nice opportunity for management and their prized possession, the new shiny draft pick, to kind of have a chance to sit down and get an understanding of where each other kind of sits, what their respective expectations are. You know, it, I know that a lot of fans are wondering, can he make that jump now? Can he make that jump and be an impact player in the National Hockey League? I think management took him for a reason. There might be that opportunity. I think he's going to get that shot. He's going to get every opportunity to try to make the team this coming year. It's ultimately on the player to ultimately deliver on that, right? So we'll wait and see how things play out. But it certainly sounds like both sides feel very good about this fit based on everything that I've been told. All right, time for a quick break. We're coming back with much more on the other side. So there you have it, a top 10 selection and certainly a lot of hugs from mom and dad and the family and with it, comes the expectations now too right once this honeymoon period kind of settles down he's going to go to camp and he's going to be a marked man the expectations are high i think there's going to be a hope amongst the fan base that is looking for that sort of something to get excited about there's going to be an expectation for 
Well, he signed, sealed, and delivered. Yes, the entry-level contract, better known technically as the ELC. Yeah, you know me, uh, is signed up. And now it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype. I think fans would love to see him make that jump to the opening night roster. Management would love to see it. And I know the kid has every intention of trying to crack it, too. All right, enjoy it. The honeymoon's almost over because it's time to shine. And we'll find out in camp. All right, still to come here on the show, our conversation. Hi everybody, welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. It's a clean sheet of ice as we are ready to get this preseason schedule underway. You go through all summer to train, you get through camp and it starts to get monotonous and bam, here's the first game of the preseason. Everybody is ready to go, they need to change the record. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official, let's bring it on. Puck is dropped and preseason is officially underway. Los Angeles has possession of it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Aliou. Not able to connect. The Golden Knights looking against the half wall. Pass back to the point. No one home on that play. And now he moves it to Brown. And that's just out of reach. And the always popular icing call made. And you know what that means, Ray? Yeah, offensive zone faceoff, man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. And he takes a shot, grabs it with a glove. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. The Golden Knights win it. Puck picked up by Petrangelo. Stop that one. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. And now he moves it quickly to Kopitar. Moves it to Pacioretty. Can't connect. The Golden Knights will play it from the corner. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Gains the zone on the left wing. And he stands tall in goal. Brown's got it along the wing. Grips it, rips it, and the stick, his best friend on that save right there. He got all of that hit. Here's a short pass to Edler. Gains the zone through center. Pokes it away in his own end. Right to the middle, deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there.
Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The game is still scoreless. Vegas takes possession off the faceoff. Quick pass to Broussard. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Stopped by the goaltender. Trying to clear. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Sends the pass over. Too many bodies in the way. Here's a chance. Oh, you can't miss that. Uh, somehow I got 408. He scores! What's the special in specialty? Well, the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They moved the puck nicely. And the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. The Golden Knights give themselves a little breathing room here in the first. There wasn't much to, to choose between the teams, and so now they've got the lead. Maybe they can open the game up a little bit. That pass doesn't go. And now he angles it across to Brown. Vegas takes possession along the wall. Puck grabbed by Stastny. Kajula's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Costs up the puck after that hit. Time of the goal. Moves it quickly over to Aliou. Vegas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Takes it from the right side. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Hammers him! Do up your chin strap. That is a solid hit. Quick feed to Kajula. Gains the zone. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Moves it over to Aliou. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's broken up. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Golden Knights look to start the transition game. Into the offensive end now. Quick pass across to Aliou. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Here in the back half of this period, the Golden Knights have taken a 1-0 lead. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Golden Knights have lots to like about that first period. Man, they control just about everything, including the shots, but more importantly, the goals. They're up by two. Vegas has it near the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Cuts into the paint. Nice save from point blank range. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Vegas is enjoying a 2-0 lead. Stalls won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. That's blocked. Slides it quickly to Aliou. And look at this, a three on one. Denies him with a save. The setters will glide into the dot. Los Angeles will go to work here in the offensive end. And that pass goes awry. Passes on over to Pacioretty. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Hammers a shot, turns him away. The Golden Knights have put a lot of pucks on net and they continue to lead here early in the second. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Vegas leads it 2-0. Nice job tying up his opponent. And here's the pass to Aliou. They've got the defense outnumbered. Great save by Fleury. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And he's going after him here. Petrangelo's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Hobbling his way over to the bench after being banged up on this last shift. He's going to need some help from the training staff. Strong defensive effort. Los Angeles gets the puck near the boards. 
good hit on the play. Quick feed to Pacioretty. The Golden Knights carry it along the wall. Big save by the goaltender. Moves it to glass. Big stop by the keeper. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Save made by the goalie. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. And that's blocked. Los Angeles plays it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Aliou. He says, let's get physical on that play. And he regains control of the puck. The Kings play it along the boards. Vegas putting in a pretty complete effort to this point as they lead it here late in the second. LA's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. Vegas has it behind the cage. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Goes right to the crease. Oh, just wide of the net. Doesn't miss by much. That's a good shot. Just outside of the cage. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Tries to get it over to Murray. Here's a shot, and makes the save. Flurry's had a solid night here. His save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. Please don't throw. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Los Angeles wins the draw here to start the period, but still have a long way to go to kill off this penalty. The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Kings take it across the blue line. Vegas has it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Pacioretty. Handles the puck, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Let's one go, and that one stopped. James in a close game. The coach is still looking for more energy, so he's going to go with the rookie. He needs those young legs. He needs something to happen now. They need a little sugar rush. Let's see if they get it. Vegas has been the more complete team tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And they can't connect. And that one's turned away. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. The Golden Knights will kill off a few extra seconds now. Rocks him. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck up to Aliou. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. There's the whistle icing the call. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 2-0 is the score. Los Angeles wins the draw. You don't spend much time in your zone if you can win the draw like that. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Quick pass to Burke. Chance Whoa. in front. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. LA's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. He scores! score shortly after giving one up. Vegas holds a noticeable edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. And it's a quick pass to Kajula. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Well, a challenge being laid here. Oh, they're going to go. Yeah, he's not going to have a choice here. He's been running around a little bit, been getting a little chippy. And now he's going to have to drop the mitts and answer for it. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there.
That bench must be pretty comfortable for them now. After you're just out there in a punch in the face contest, it's nice to go get a drink of water, I'd imagine. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago. But we still got a game to play. Scooped up along the wall by Edler. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Takes the pass. Snapper from the slot. Nice stick save by the goaltender who got a piece of that one to swat it away with the twig. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Golden Knights now lead by two. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Golden Knights have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Just wide of the net. Oh, he didn't miss by much, James. He thought he had a spot. He just missed it. Puck slid down the ice. LA's got a hold of it along the wall. Gets it over to Kopitar. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's a blast. Oh, he stomps it with a glove. Great reflexes there. The centermen glide into position. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Kings have it behind the net. Looks to get the puck over to Aliou. The Golden Knights gain possession of the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Takes the feed. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Passes it over to Kopitar. Quick feed to Brown. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Vegas has had more shots on goal tonight, and as a result, they lead it late in the third period. Richardson's won it in their own end. Los Angeles gains possession under man. Dumps it in. The Golden Knights have it against the wall. Tries to get the puck to glass. The Golden Knights move to the offensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot. Gives them nothing in front. Broussard's looking a little rejuvenated. He had that fight earlier. Now he had a five-minute break to rest, but he's back at it. A good shot on goal. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Couldn't connect on that pass. Los Angeles moves it quickly along the wing. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. The Kings with a huge penalty kill there. Well, they got through that one. Their penalty killing has just been average tonight. But they'll take that one and put it in the good column. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick snap. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Goaltender has made his... There's the empty net insurance marker and should bring an end to this one. Yeah, that'll wrap it up. Put a bow on this, baby. It's over. Vegas came ready to play tonight. Tons of scoring chances, and they lead it big time here late in this third. Moves it quickly over to Kopitar. Nice pass. Easily turned away by the glove. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Kings will go to work here in the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Oh, you would have had that, Ferraro. Not really. I mean, I, I think <laughs> I tried the same shot, but you don't hit the net. You don't give yourself a chance. Vegas gains the zone. The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. Stone's got control of the puck in the corner. Pinned up along the boards. Oh. 